Hello lovely people, hope you are doing well. This is just a really quick video on my bug out bag and what I have in there at the moment. To be honest, I don't have a lot of equipment in there. Um, the reason being that I I don't own a tent or a sleeping bag or, you know, like, you know, proper like survivalist gear. I don't have any like survivalist skills. I know a lot of people have bug out bags and they have like bug out locations and they're really, really prepared, to, you know, to sort of go out into the woods and they can fend for themselves. And honestly, that's that's absolutely fantastic. And that's something that I really admire. But I've got to think of myself and my own skill set, which is pretty much zero. Um, but I wanted to have a bug out bag to make me feel a bit safer. So what I've kind of based um, the items in my bag around is the fact that for whatever reason, I have to leave immediately um, and I am able to find so like shelter in like a family or friend's house or maybe even a hotel. So it really is basic. But um, as I say, I don't have the survivalist skills to properly quote unquote bug out. Um, and as it just makes me feel a little bit safer knowing that I have this bag of like items ready to go if I ever need them. So my actual bag is just a really old canvas rucksack that I don't use anymore. Um, it's not waterproof. I think what I'm going to do is get a black bin liner and just put that in my bag. And yeah, if I have to sort of like walk quite a distance and it's raining, I'll just use the black bin liner. I'm not going to go out and buy a waterproof rucksack cover just in case of. So that's that. So food and water, I've got a 1.5 litre water bottle there and food, I have three mug shots and a packet of tuna, it's called a jacket topper. I've not actually tried this. I think this might be something new that they've come out with because I got it from Morrison's and it was on a special offer for a pound. It might have been out for a while, I've just not seen it, but it's really lightweight and I like tuna and you don't have to obviously put it in the freezer or keep it cold um and with the mug shots I just thought you know what I should be able to get a cup of hot water from somewhere so for a little bit of a treat I've got a couple of protein bars here which is strawberry and white chocolate and another protein bar here this is a lemon meringue so in terms of like hygiene and sanitary kind of wear. I've got a packet of pads here. Oh, hand sanitizer at the back. I found a lot of places of selling off hand sanitizer really, really like dirt cheap. Um, my local pound stretcher is doing bottles bigger than this size. This is a this is a fifty ml bottle. Like literally just a hand size one. Um, yeah, my local pound stretcher is doing bottles bigger than this for, I think they were 19 pence each, maybe 29 pence or something ridiculous like that. So I got a couple. I've got so many bottles of hand sanitizer because I've also found over the past few months when I've been buying things online and they get delivered, you know, sometimes companies give you like a, a freebie I've gotten like two or three bottles of hand sanitizer as freebies. I think people just really over overstocked, you know, like when this whole COVID thing like first came about and like hand sanitizer suddenly became like rocking horse shit and you couldn't get it anywhere. And then all of a sudden you could get it, but then the price went up. And then it kind of, I just think so many places have over overstocked like so much and they're just selling, obviously selling off um, as cheap as possible. So yeah this is i'm pretty sure i got this free from somewhere um packet of baby wipes in case i can't shower this is pretty cool this is like a toothbrush and toothpaste in a box i thought it was kind of nifty and i thought well i need toothpaste and toothbrush for my bug out bag so when i saw that i got that i've no idea how much it was and i've no idea where i got it from i can't remember um in this freezer ziplock bag i've got a couple of pairs of change of socks clean socks and clean underwear i've got a deodorant and um, this is 
just some sort of moisturizer this was like a free gift with something online and it says that it's for babies and i thought if it's good enough for babies it's good enough for me and so i basically got that so basically that's my shower and that's my body lotion for after my shower just a packet of tissues can never go wrong with those i've got a hairbrush it flips open and it's got a mirror and just got a hair tie and then that kind of pushes out um i think i had this when i was at school i've had this for absolutely years and i uh, didn't want to throw it away i don't like to throw anything away so i thought perfect for my bug out bag here in this little bag i have my torch i've got three sets of batteries to go with the torch and i've got a lighter there i don't smoke i, I just thought um that might be handy i brought a box of 50 lighters from ebay for 10 pounds so i think i've got a lifetime supply of lighters so that's why i put that in there very randomly i've got a pair of headphones um these will just plug into like my mobile mobile phone um if i'm in i don't know if i end up in some kind of like camp or hostel where I, there's like loads of people around I just thought, you know what, that actually might be quite nice to get some, like, try and get some, like, peace and quiet. And it can also double up as, like, a piece of string, you know, um, if I need to tie something up. Um, first aid kit, bandages, tape, bizarrely enough, cotton buds, um, what's that? Oh, like, um, a triangle bandage, scissors loads of plasters and tweezers that just folds up in there i've got a foil blanket and this i have used which is why it's very crudely been scrunched back up by me i tried to put it back as best i can but like no i couldn't and then i just sort of tied it together with a couple of elastic bands and then i've just got um my own little other kind of little first aid kit here you see there's more plasters smaller plasters these are the uh neurofen melts where you just kind of pop them on your tongue just because i personally have an issue i can't swallow tablets so i have to buy the melts um what i do have at the back here is i've got um a random packet of like paracetamol tablets i can't use them myself but i thought i'm never going to use them and I figured I might as well put them in my bug out bag and if, you know, if I'm with someone, they can, they can have them. Um, and then I've got the green packet there that you can see. That's a couple of um, sachets of Lemsip and some more plasters. So just put together my own little first aid kit there. And lastly, I have £100 in cash. Um... I, you know, I don't know what the reason would be that I would need to leave my house, but hopefully if I need to maybe go to a hotel room for a couple of nights, I'm hoping that that £100 cash will be enough for me to be able to to stay somewhere safe. Um, so what I have also done is I've written a list of what I've got in my bug out bag and I've written a list of like specifically with regards to the food I have wrote down the use by date because you know I hopefully never have to use what's in this bag but it is there so like let's have a look so what's this this is okay till November 2023 I would eat it happily past that date anyway but it just kind of helps me kind of keep track on like you know as i say the the sell by dates on that and i've also just noted down how much cash um that i've got in there just so i you know don't forget <laughs> about the fact that i've got 100 quid squirrels away in my bug out bag and yeah that is it as i say it's really quite basic um but i am just happy with what is in there at the moment if there's anything that you think like glaringly obvious that i've missed please comment down below because I've been over this bag so many times. I've watched so many of the people's videos and I think this is kind of like where I kind of think I've got everything that I need. I could probably do with some more food. Um, so if you can comment below what kind of foodstuffs that you have in your bug out bag, that would be quite useful. 
my next video I'm hoping to do is a haul video on the prep stuff that I've got for this month. So um, if you'd like to watch that, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.